This one is from Adam and he says, even if it wasn't offside, surely Ramsey's challenge on Cavani would have been overturned. Oh, anyway, Ramsey was looking at Cavani the whole time. Cavani's eyes are on the ball and then Ramsey moves to purposely block Cavani's run. Don't know why Villa fans are being so salty. Um, so this is the incident that led to the goal being disallowed. There's, a, there's an element of that, definitely. There's, there's definitely an element of that. Um, and, and I can understand, to be honest with you, a free kick being given there. My problem is they're now looking for, they're now looking for things. They're looking for everything. Whereas it's meant to be a, 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 an error by the referee, an obvious error. I mean, there's no obvious error. Ramsey blocking Cavani. That's not an obvious error in my book. If right? he's offside as well? That's different. That's different. That that's when VAR comes into play, right? And I get and I get that. That's that you know that that's hundred percent. VAR comes into play to help referees with decisions like that and offside decisions. And another thing is, while I'm at it, and I'm going off the subject a little bit, going to somebody please just get assistant referees to put the flag up when he's offside and stop hiding behind this VAR thing. Somebody's going to get seriously injured. By the way, I mean Lindelof nearly got injured. <clears throat> well, he didn't nearly. He did get injured because of the refusal to put the flag up, they allowed the play to go on, and he battered into the post, and it could have been very, very serious, that. If it's obvious, and that one was obvious, I felt, get the flag up, and stop play. I mean, it's, you can see it's actually infuriating the players now, and coaches, and managers. You saw Steven Gerrard not celebrating that goal, because he knew it was going to get checked. I went off track a little bit. But I'm just so pleased to get that off my chest. I'm pleased that you did as well, because sometimes we see um, the assistant referees, the linos, actually forget that they shouldn't put their flag up. So every now and then they do put it up and you're like, what are you doing? And it's so confusing. Um, Mark got in touch earlier on because he says, uh, morning guys, love the show. Um, this is Mark works at Newcastle, by the way. Morning, Mark. Morning, Mark. Um, and he said last night was definitely three minutes, 40 seconds. There you are. So you are correct. So, so you were all scoffing at my time. However, Mark's come to the rescue. Yeah. Um, but the, the, the one thing in... I suppose the defence of the system, and it's only a very minor defence if, if there is one, because yep. I th- still think three minutes, 40 seconds is just too it's long. It's ridiculous. It's too long. You've got all the equipment in front it's of ridiculous. you. It's ridiculous. Um, is in that particular passage of play, there might have been two or three different things that they were checking. Um, so you're checking one thing, your assistant goes back to check the other one, then you both have to look at that, and, it, and maybe it's just a series of, of incidents that builds up, but, but three minutes, 40 seconds you know is, something is too with long, it? surely. You know, of course it is. <clears throat> it's ridiculous. And you shouldn't need to go back and check. If it's clear and obvious, you'll have a fair idea he's made a mistake. Mm-hmm. So don't go back and start looking for things. If it catches your eye, the referee doesn't see it, there's every chance it'll be clear and obvious. Yeah. But you start going back and back and back. Not for me. In three minutes, 40 seconds, as it happens, is ridiculously long. Especially if you're then going to say, you know what? Why don't you go and have a look at it, ref? Yes. And the ref goes and in 10 <coughs> seconds or less, Correct. goes, here you go, here's my Correct. decision. <laughs> do you know what we're going to do, ref? We're actually going to do what we should be doing, and that's let you make the decision because you're actually the referee. So how about you make the decision? Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.